Now, for some more perspective on the elections, I spoke with Hisham Salam, the co-editor of a newsletter called Jadalia. He says this referendum is a very complex issue, more so than most recognize. There is more at stake than just a battle between or, or just a spat between Islamist and secular political forces. This is really about uh, the vision for uh, a new Egypt, the type of state that will emerge in Egypt. Uh, the type of, um, uh, it's really a question of whether this is uh, a political order that will uh, fulfill the demands uh, and the promise of the January 25th revolution. Uh, the uh, contentious issue, or a lot of the objections that are being voiced, uh, are not only exclusively voiced uh, in relationship to the question of uh, the role of religion in public affairs and political affairs in Egypt, but it's also being voiced in reference to important, uh, important questions that have to do with civil liberties and the fact that the Constitution uh, gives, uh, contains a lot of loopholes that will give the state uh, a great deal of leeway in uh, regulating political and social, uh, well, uh, 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 social, uh, social ri uh, rights and, uh, and civil liberties. Right, important point. I mean, would it affect things, basic freedoms like freedom of expression, freedom of association, things like that? Absolutely. I mean, for example, there's an article in the Constitution that says that the state is obligated uh, to uh, preserve uh, the uh, genuine character or the genuine nature of the Egyptian family and to uh, regulate and preserve uh, public uh, morals, uh, which is seen as uh, basically a loophole that will allow the, Egypt the state to uh, intervene in the private lives of uh, Egyptian citizens at the, uh, at the expense of their political rights and civil liberties. Uh, and also seen as, um, you know, it's, it's, it's not just a question of freedom of expression, but there are a lot of controversial uh, stipulations uh, in there that uh, have to do with uh, the power of the military. Uh, Egyptians for the past, uh, you know, for the past couple of years have been talking about the fact that they would like to see the military uh, leave, uh, leave politics and leave the economy and return back to national defense. Uh, and this is co a constitution that actually uh, sets the military and its non-democratic political and economic privileges uh, beyond the reach of conventional parliamentary uh, and public oversight and accountability. Uh, mm -hmm. So uh, there is definitely more at stake than just uh, the question of civil liberties or, or, uh, or political rights uh, or even the question of uh, the relationship between uh, religion and politics in the new Egypt. Okay, we're going to have to leave it there. Thanks for joining us. Thank you very much. Thank you.